Here's another example of how technology is changing our lives. ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, left a Bellevue man essentially trapped in his body. With communication becoming more difficult, his wife started searching for a solution. As we see in today's family health, she found it with something called a neuroswitch. Gary Griffin can't tell us he's an Air Force veteran, a father and a husband, but his computer can. It replaces the voice Lou Gehrig's disease stole. We got to the point that often we were communicating in blinks, and um, I would call out the alphabet, and it was, you know, just very slow and very delayed. Gary's old head switch required him to move about an inch. It tired him out and made communication slow. That changed when Gary's wife, Lisa, found the neuro switch. It's, it's almost effortless when, you, when, he, when he uses it. Here's how it works. Gary's brain still sends signals to his muscles, but they no longer get the message. The neuro switch sensors capture nerve signals, allowing Gary to control an assistive technology switch. He can use it to control a TV, type, even surf the Internet. Anything anybody can do on a computer, he can do. Home health care aide Chad Conrad says he no longer has to wonder what Gary wants. It's easier and quicker than ever for Gary to spell it out. We saw it for ourselves during our interview. Does this somehow help you feel less trapped? The voice easier to communicate. And for Gary and his family, that makes all the difference. As long as he can communicate, he wants to live. I mean, he has a very passionate drive to live. And the communication to him is, is the key. You know, I feel blessed because this, uh, the communication device unlocks my husband. It lets him be a person. He's, is, is, he's not justified by his abilities. Gary's wife tells us that the neuro switch cost $15,000. She didn't have to worry about the expense, though, because Veterans Affairs covered it. The makers of the neuro switch hope that that opens the door for other veterans who would benefit.